So here we have a bunch of data, and we're asked to find the semi-interquartile range of this data. So the first idea we'll consider is the median. So to find the median of a bunch of data like this, you put it in order, least to greatest, and you'll notice that these numbers that you're given, the ten numbers you're given, are in increasing order. So once they're sorted into increasing order, you look for the middle one. Now there's 10, the middle value doesn't exist. But if there's two middle values, you'd average them. Take the value halfway between them. And that value is called the median. So let's do that procedure to the bottom half, the lower half of this data. The median divides the data into two sections, into the lower and the upper half. So we'll take the lower half and we'll work out the median of that. Five numbers, middle number 218. That's called the lower quartile. Do the same to the upper five numbers, the middle one is 250. That's the upper quartile. Sometimes these three numbers are called Q1, Q2 and Q3. So there's lower quartile, median and the upper quartile. The inter interquartile range is the gap between the lower quartile and the upper quartile. That's the difference between the two of them. And the semi-interquartile range would be half of that. So the semi-interquartile range would be a half of the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile. That's the gap between these two, half of that gap. So in this case, it's a half of 250 minus 218. So 218 from 215 is 32, and a half of 32 is 16. So the semi-interquartile range for this set of 10, 10 data uh, numbers is 16.